What's up, guys? I'm Chris Spaggs here, back with another Four Corners for today's now 10-game MLB main slate, courtesy of Osmo.com. It seemed like we had a good day yesterday based on what some of you guys were saying, so let's keep that momentum going. And right now, like this video, and of course, subscribe to the channel to see this video every day that there is a full MLB main slate, as well as all the other content we have for every single sport. So like the video, and please subscribe to this channel right now. And of course, it wouldn't be a Four Corners video without our double dong pick. Your chance to win a free week of Osmo Plus. All you have to do is guess a guy who's going to hit two home runs on today's main slate. Yesterday, nobody got Kyle Hishigioka correctly. How could you not get that? Such an obvious play for the Yankees, of course. But today is your chance. So right now, like this video and comment your double dong play down below. Giving away one Osmo Plus membership every video if anybody gets it correctly. So like the video, comment your double dong play down in the comments below. But as you guys know, or maybe you don't, we've got no time to waste here on the four corners. The internet's preeminent short form MLB DFS video. So let's get right into our first corner of the top stacks on today's slate, lovingly curated by our own Alex Osmo Baker. And number one on the list is the Astros versus Detroit with 5.3 implied runs, a 10.4% chance of being a top stack and 10% ownership expected. Houston faces Matthew Boyd, a pitcher who's regressed mightily over the last few seasons with a 1.4 whip and 238 ISO allowed to righty since 2019. Lefty mashers like Alex Bregman with a 364 ISO and Jordan Alvarez with a counterintuitive 333 ISO versus fellow lefties seem like core plays on today's slate. Our next to the top stacks is the Angels at the Royals with 4.5 implied runs, a 9.1% chance of being a top stack, and 9% ownership expected. Lefty Danny Duffy is a middling pitcher with a 21.6% K rate since 2019 and gives up decent power with a 184 ISO allowed overall. But the big appeal of the Angels is their pricing with an 11% chance being the top value stack on both DraftKings and FanDuel. And our last of the top stacks is the Dodgers versus the Rockies with 5.2 implied runs, an 8.2% chance of being the top stack, and 9.2% ownership expected. The Dodgers face Antonio Senzatella, a pitcher with an abysmal 13% K rate and an 8% swing strike rate. And Senzatella does keep the ball down with a 27% fly ball rate. But he has one of the slate's highest implied totals for the Dodgers. And that gives him a boost with quality hitters throughout their entire lineup. And now onto our next corner of the top pitchers according to the top pitcher tool you can get for yourself at Osmo.com slash join. Number one of the top pitchers tool today is Trevor Bauer versus the Rockies, who has a 40% chance of being the top pitcher, along with 54% ownership. Barrel will be highly owned and highly scrutinized after some recent MLB concerns over his usage of foreign substances to help his spin rates. It'll face a projected Colorado lineup with seven hitters who strike out above league average. With a 29% aggregate K rate, it's going to play well with Bauer's 37% K rate since last season. Another of Osmo's top pitchers today is Shane Bieber at the White Sox with a 21% chance of being the top pitcher, along with 28% expected ownership. Bieber has an otherworldly 42% K rate since last season, and he'll face a White Sox lineup with five guys who strike out above league average. Bauer's slightly cheaper price on DraftKings and FanDuel could make Bieber an interesting tournament pivot with slightly more risk due to the power in Chicago's lineup. In our last of the top pitchers is Brandon Woodruff versus the Cubs with an 18% chance of being a top pitcher, along with 29% ownership. Woodruff will be the top paydown option as an SP2 on DraftKings, while still being highly owned as a value option on FanDuel. Luis Castillo and Max Fried are valuable pivots at the price point, but Woodruff does look good despite being slightly overowned, with a 31% K rate and a projected Cubs line with six hitters who strike out above league average. And now onto our next corner with some of the top owned players on today's slate, as always coming from Osmo's own ownership projections. Number one on the list, the aforementioned Trevor Bauer versus the Rockies will have 51% ownership on DK first overall and 37% ownership on FanDuel first overall there as well. Bauer brings big strikeout upside against a greatly overmatched Colorado lineup. Fade him for a Shane Bieber or go cheap for a different lineup construction, but there's a high probability that Bauer is worth swallowing the chalk today. Another top-owned play is Alex Bregman versus the Tigers with 30% ownership on DK and 28% ownership on FanDuel. Alex Bregman brings a 364 ISO and a 7.5% home run rate versus left-hand pitching. He faces Matthew Boyd, who gives up a 238 ISO and a 5% home run rate to right-handed batters. It's one of the best matchups on paper on the entire slate, but any hitter that highly owned can be avoided if you find other quality stacks. And our last of the top owned plays is Christian Yelich versus the Cubs with 34% ownership on FanDuel, just 18% ownership on DraftKings. Yelich sat out yesterday, but the hope is he can make it back to the lineup today with another FanDuel price that's probably too cheap to avoid. Kyle Hendricks has less obvious power issues than Adbert Alzale had yesterday. He's better versus lefties with a 24% K rate, so Yelich may be worth a fade more often than not. And now onto our last corner, one that I felt good about in our first video back yesterday with guys like Jesse Winker and Dane Dunning. It's the lower owned dart throws. 
My first low round dart throw is Rowdy Tellis from Toronto, a lefty hitter who's all power with a 222 ISO and a team best 5.7% home run rate versus right hand pitching. Jameson Tylon has been smashed by lefty bats with a 219 ISO allowance in 2019, with stark contrast and massive improvements for Tylon over his more recent but much smaller sample size. Our next low round dart throws a guy who worked out yesterday, Jesse Winker from St. Louis, who came through with a home run as a low owned play yesterday and he has another good matchup today against Kevin Gaussman with his 188 ISO allowed to left handed batters. Winker hitting lead off the 256 ISO off for some upside to drop the overall ownership of what could be otherwise chalky lineups. And my last low run dart throws, Austin Meadows from Tampa Bay. Another lefty in the low owned dart throws thanks to Meadows' 267 ISO versus right hand pitching and a nice matchup versus Kyle Gibson, a righty who gives up a 5.2 XFIP and 290 batting average to lefties. Tampa Bay has some other lefty options with guys like Yoshi Tetsugo and Brandon Lau, but Meadows has the most pop and upside in the stack. So there you have it. One more four corners in the book after I think we're going to have a few more days off of the four corners. Thanks to no normal main slate coming up tomorrow, at least But right now. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get your chance to win that free week of Osmo awesome plus guess your pick to hit two home runs today, your double dong pick down in the comments below. Of course, after you hit the like button, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys again soon when the MLB schedule allows it. So enjoy your days and good luck.